Hi guys, today we're gonna stretch our backs together. It's the intermediate version. If you're a beginner, go to my beginner's follow along back stretching routine. Let's get started. Simple as that. We're gonna start by going into our seal stretch and holding it for 10 seconds. Keep your legs apart and try looking back for an even deeper stretch. Lower down. Now come back up, and this time, bring your legs together so your feet are almost touching each other. I would like you guys to keep this message in mind throughout the routine. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Go down, and come back up, and make sure your legs are still together. Go down and come back up and try to touch your feet to your head. It's okay if you aren't there yet. Remember, practice plus grit equals results. Come on down. Now push into downward dog. We're gonna do six walks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now come on down your knees, and this next stretch is a bit more intense. You're going to put your arms in fifth position, or in other words, try to form a circle with your arms and pulse three times. The goal is to try to hit the ground and hold it there for the last 10 seconds, trying to grab your feet. And if that's too easy, try to get your elbows to touch the ground. Come on up. Let's do this one more time. Arms up. Pulse one, two, three, and now grab your feet. If you can't grab your feet, you can either dangle there or push your hands into your back. Come on up. Now we're gonna go into child's pose and release all your tension. Come on up, you should be feeling better now, and let's go to a wall. You're gonna put your elbows on the wall and lean down, making your chest touch the wall. I don't know if you guys knew, but I actually had really bad back flexibility. In fact, I had the worst in my dance class when I first started, and I remember not wanting to work on it because it definitely was very hard for me, but then I realized that your weakness won't strengthen without practice. And here I am now doing a bridge with ease when back then that was very challenging for me. I'm able to do it with ease now because I kept practicing and never gave up. We're gonna walk our hands down the wall and back up three times. Each time you go down, make sure you have enough room between your hands and the wall so you can push your chest into the wall for a much deeper stretch. Come on up. Now we're on our second time. Walk your hands down in your bridge and push your chest into the wall. Walk your hands back up. We're gonna do it one more time. Walk your hands down the wall. Go into your bridge, push your chest into the wall and we're gonna hold it for eight seconds. Great job. Now walk your hands back up and fall forward and try to touch your hands to the ground. This is the basket stretch. The first time, I want you to just grab your legs and rock back and forth. This next time, grab as far down your legs as you can, rock a little, and then try to straighten your legs. Fight for it. And what should happen is that you end up shifting your weight to your legs, and that allows you to balance your chest high in the air. Like... This. Yes, I got it. I recommend working on this on your own time, as practice time varies with this stretch. We're gonna do five back rotations like this. I'm gonna break it down for you. Take a look. We're gonna do this five times total and I'll guide you guys through it. Rotate, bridge, rotate. Second time, rotate, bridge, rotate. Third time, rotate, bridge, rotate. Fourth time, 
rotate, bridge, rotate. Fifth time, last time. Rotate, bridge, rotate. We're gonna do a little bridge combination I made. Push up into your bridge and 10 seconds on the clock. Now, bring your feet together and bend your legs aiming to keep your chest up while your butt is pushing towards the ground. Bend. Straighten. Bend. Straighten. Lastly, straighten your legs in bridge and hold it for 10 more seconds. Come on down and rest. We're gonna go in one last time, push up into your bridge and go on your elbows and hold it for 10 seconds. 10 seconds starting now. And finish it off by straightening your legs while staying on your elbows. Finished. Now I want you to go into your pike position and we're going to hold that for 15 seconds, starting now. Try flexing your feet and grabbing them with your hands while pushing your chest into your legs for a deeper stretch. Come on up. Now go to a couch or bed and you're going to do a bridge with your hands on your bed or couch. In this case, I'm using my bed. Make sure to keep your legs straight and try to bring your legs as close to your bed as you can. Finished. We'll complete this routine with a cat-cow pose and child's pose. Also, I just want to address a question that is asked frequently on my channel in my back stretching videos. For anyone who feels like their blood is rushing to their head and they can't continue and might feel a little dizzy when they're doing back stretches like a bridge, number one, make sure you're hydrated because that can actually affect you during your back stretches and drinking water will reduce dizziness. As for the head rush, make sure you're breathing throughout the stretches. Inhale and exhale because if you don't it will cause increased blood flow to the head Also head rushes used to happen to me too But I took it little by little each day and eventually just got used to it and now I really don't have many head rushes anymore Say I won't get you to see.